All right, friends, today we are going to pick up where we left off on our self-portrait. Um, if you have not finished tracing with the Sharpie and erasing your pencil lines, then that will be the first step. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to start coloring our self-portrait in, but you want to make sure that you are using crayons that match your skin color and hair color and eye color. So for me, I am going to start by using this peach color because that matches my skin. So I'm going to start coloring, and I'm only going to color the parts of my face that are skin. So I'm not going to color over my glasses. I'm not going to color into my hair. I'm only coloring the parts that are skin. So I'm going to color right over the tops of my cheeks here. And I like to use my crayon and color in the direction that your face curves. So down here, our face curves this way around our mouth and this way around our chin. So I like to use my lines and color in that direction. It makes it just look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to keep coloring. I'm coloring a little bit quickly because I don't want to waste a bunch of time on our video, but I would like for you to color nice and neat, making sure that you are filling in all of the white paper with your skin color. I can't forget my forehead up here in between my glasses and around my glasses, making sure we get every part that is skin. Now, I do also have skin inside my glasses, so I'm going to make sure that I color that in as well. Sure, there might be glass in my glasses, but you would still see my skin through that clear glass. Notice how I'm not coloring over the tops of my eyes. I'm coloring around my eyes. A little bit hard to see in the camera angle, but hopefully you can kind of see my skin color there. Next, I'm going to color in my ears because our ears are made of skin, so they would be the same color. And I'm going to color in the neck that is above my scarf. So I'm coloring in this area. If you want to color over your lips with your skin color, that is totally fine too. Your lips are made out of skin. They're just a slightly different color. They might be a little bit darker. So if you press a little bit harder with your skin color, you'll get a nice different color for your lips. Now, for me, I have long, dark brown hair. So I am going to find a brown. Here it is. And I'm going to color in my hair dark brown so that it matches me as this is my self-portrait. Making sure we stay inside of our lines and that all of our white paper gets covered with our crayon. Okay. I would also do this other side, although I'm not going to finish this other side because, again, I don't want to make our video be too long, so I'm going to pause on that. The next thing I'm going to do is find a blue crayon because I do have blue eyes, so I'm going to take my blue and color in just that circle in the middle. I'm leaving the sides white, just like it is in real life. Okay, just like that. Next, I can color in my glasses, and the, the glasses that I'm wearing today are kind of brownish color, so I'm going to go ahead and color them in to match. I do have lots of different colors of glasses, so some days I may have purple, or I might have green, or I might have pink. Today I just happen to have brown, so I'm going to, be, going to use the brown crayon so that it matches me today, just like that. And then it comes time to color in your scarf and your shirt and your hat. So you can choose 
any colors that you would like for those. Um, it doesn't matter if it matches your clothes today or not. Maybe you have a favorite shirt that you like to wear and so you can color in your shirt, whatever your favorite shirt color is, or maybe you just wanna color it in your favorite color. So even though I don't have a purple shirt, maybe I would like to make my shirt purple because that is my favorite color. So you can add the colors to these areas, whatever colors you want. So I'm going to actually use purple, just like I said, for my shirt. I'm going to color in my purple shirt. Nice and neat, making sure that we don't get out of the lines. We don't want to cross over our black line with our crayon. And we do want to go nice and slow so that all of our white paper gets covered. We don't want to have any holes or gaps between our purple crayon where the white paper is showing. Got a little bit more over here to go. I can already start thinking about what might I want for my scarf. And I think I will use maybe a pink color for my scarf. That's an interesting color. Let's see, this is called melon, kind of a orangey pink. So I'll use that for my scarf and color in my scarf. Again, nice and neat, making sure that we stay inside of our black Sharpie lines. We don't want to go over. And we don't want to leave any white paper showing. So here is my scarf. And then I think I would do a matching hat. So I'll use my same melon color up here for my hat, for the ball of my hat, and then maybe for the fold of my hat. And I know that I'm rushing my crayon here. You're gonna go nice and slow. I have lots and lots of practice coloring, so I know that I can control my crayon and make it still stay inside the lines. Um, you know what, I think I might actually do purple for my hat. Just so it matches my shirt. What I do not want you to do, friends, do not color in the area around your self-portrait. Do not draw anything there and do not color it because we have something special planned for our background. And if you color this part with crayon, then you're not going to be able to do the special step. So this will be it for today. Our skin color, our hair color, our eyes, our hat, scarf, and shirt.